guys, welcome to today's video. Our camera is doing crazy, hold on. All right, I saw something flying by. Welcome to today's video. Everybody's excited, we're just getting ready to go down to the barn because Sam is at work. I wanted to show you guys what Sam's grandfather gave us yesterday. You guys know that Sam's grandfather is this tiny little Italian man who hardly even speaks English. And he is a gardener. And last night he gave us these huge zucchinis. And I'm going to cut some up and cook with some. And I'm going to give some to our chickens because they be loving a nice fall treat. Little Miss Trixie says good morning. Oh, she's shedding her arm there. Do you guys see it? Every time the dogs go by, she does a big breath. Big breath in. Anyway, she's looking for breakfast. That's her old salad leftovers. She's looking for crickets. She's out hunting. She wakes up early and she starts hunting. You're hunting. And then we have, and then we have Molly here. We haven't showed you very much in the vlog. Molly, <laughs> did they scare you? Anyway, good morning to all of you guys. Today we have a plan. Not every single day do we have exciting plans. And today is Thursday and we have exciting plans. We have exciting plans with friends. Yes, we do. <laughs> Ruby's like, I'm exciting. Yes. Are you ready for today, Sophie? I did that last time. You have to do it this time. What? Come here. Hitting in. All the cookies are hiding in that bush? Yeah, I always see drip. Ew, that's disgusting. I don't think you guys can see them. Millions. I always see drip. All right, I shook it, and now there are crickets in her, her house. Uh oh, and that broke. We can't even take that out because it's probably full of crickets. She's like, I will hunt you all. <laughs> Before we head down to the barn, Sophie wants to tell you her bracelets by Sophie page on Instagram because she's selling bracelets. It's bracelets underscore by underscore Sophie. One, two, three, four. Bracelets underscore by underscore Sophie. One, two, three, four. Right? Yep. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> she's like, don't you talk to my girl. <laughs> All right. Let's go down to the barn. They say in Canada we're gonna get winter in November. Sometimes we have like a really nice fall that lasts all the way through Christmas, but they say not this year. This year we're gonna have winter in November, and I don't mind winter in November because it usually means. <laughs> nice try. Oh, hello. Okay. Dogs are staying in here. You guys are staying here. Sorry about your luck. Penny, oh, you stayed clean. Get, get. No dogs. Stay. Stay. All right. I'm acting like I know what I'm doing here, and I don't. Oh, the dogs. Ah. All right. You can have yours there. You can have yours over here. And, whoa. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Why are you pooping in here so bad? You need to brush your horses today, especially this white girl. My horse was brushed. Look at this girl. She's not as bad as my horse was. What do you mean? Her belly. She was laying down in the night, that's why. Yeah, she's laying down. She likes to sleep. She likes to sleep. She's like, leave me alone while I eat my breakfast. She also loves attention. Welcome to an amazing, a glorious, fun-filled day of homeschool, scary things, and horses. That's what's on the docket for today. Can we take out homeschool? No, you're doing homeschool. Can homeschool. No, homeschool. We're still waiting for Gabby. Uh, in her defense, I never wake her up until later because, I mean, she's 14. She should be able to wake up on her own. Grab a pitchfork, Sophie says. Um, if I wake her up too early, then she steals the bathroom and then none of us can get ready. But um, yesterday I told you guys that all the horses are staring at me. They're like, take us now, take us. We're ready, Penny's still eating. Oh, they turned away as soon as I put the camera on them. Yesterday I videoed that I failed my horse and I did. Failed myself. Gabby's here. Failed myself mostly. And the reason why, if you guys like think I don't know why, I know why. I set myself up for failure. I didn't have help when I knew I was gonna need help. I tried to do everything in a fast amount of time because I was strapped for time. And 
I needed to pee so bad. And usually that means that you're not gonna be able to be slow enough and relaxed enough. And it was like close to supper time for Penny and she was getting hungry because they weren't on grass that day. She was in the arena. So I set myself up for failure and I failed. No big surprise, like that's what happened. So today we're gonna start all over, start fresh. And Sophie is gonna be doing something that she really wants to do. So we'll show you guys. And Gabby's gonna get to do something at the end of the day that she really wants to do. All right, so we tried to clean up the arena the best we could. That's what we got. There are still some spots, little tiny spots of poop that I'm gonna have to rake. Woo! I have a special rake that I use to get it, the arena really clean. I'll show you guys later. But, hi girlfriend, you ready for me? No camera so that I can make you listen, okay? You're ready, you're ready. The dogs somehow got out here, they're ready. She's mad. Why is she mad? She yeah, they haven't been on grass in two days. But the reason she's mad is because I made her wait. So that's part of, ew, I have eye guck on me. So that is part of what I've been trying to do with her a lot lately is make her wait and calm her jets. If you guys don't know what that means, it means wait. So when she misbehaves, I make her stop again and stand there and I count to five and she's like an auditory learner. Penny knows all the words. Same with Storm is like that. I'm gonna fall down the hill. So, so I say it to her, your feet are sweating. So I say it to her, I count. Every time I make her stop and back up and wait, I make her count to five and then I go. So when I took off her halter, she threw her head and I said, no, we have to start again. And I counted to five <laughs> and she stood so still and calm when I took it off and then when I took when it was all the way off she was like ah! <laughs> she ran. Sam put some straw in the chicken coop yesterday. I got eyeball goo and it won't come off me. And that's not okay. <laughs> You're not yes, thank you. There you go. Yeah, that's it. So we're gonna work on our chicken coop a little bit more because even though Sam thinks that that's okay, am I? My crazy mind does not think that that will be warm enough for them. Ah! Whoa. My Here. You get a little there. bit each time. So if you get the water. Pour the water. All right, I'll pour the water. You bring the. Because I like to give them veggies so that they know that Let's I'm. Let's see. Oh, I'm stopped. Is it warm? That's yeah, warm. <gasps> it's cozy in here. I like it. You guys can, you can't even hardly hear the wind. Yeah, it's so cozy. Imagine all we had to do all day was take care of our animals and play with them. Unfortunately, we don't. So we have to do the best we can with the time that we have. And we're here right now to spend time with you guys. So this is their coop. It's got straw. The wind thing is closed up. Mom, seeds. I know, they haven't discovered that there's one with a bunch of seeds. There she goes. She's like, I will get those. That's the best part right there. All right, it's so warm in there and so windy and cold out here. We got to choose what we did today. It would be getting things ready for winter because it's a perfect, glorious, beautiful day. But the girls have school and I want them to, more than anything, have that, that thing inside them where they wake up and they know they have like a job to do so that when they have to actually have a job to do they wake up and they know like okay I need to do this and do this and do this routine I want them to have a routine would you rather choose one million dollars or a bucket hat that's super cute I would choose a bucket hat because why this is a magical bucket hat that she didn't tell you all the rules because um every time someone lies to you you get a hundred dollars but that would be a lot of lies to be more than a million. But if you're running out of money and someone lies to you, boom, you have a hundred dollars. If you had a million dollars, you might not ever run out of money. how big the lie is, like how big of a lie it is, you get, like, you could get a thousand dollars for a lie. Yeah, all right, well that might work. Also, there's a new game in town. There's a new game, it happens every single day and I can't even wrap my head around it. Molly runs up the stairs. Daisy runs up the stairs. Molly says hi, runs down the stairs. Daisy runs down the stairs, up and down and up and down. And, and we all just are like, what is happening? All right, everybody pick a, pick a direction. I see horses hiding in the woods over there. Who's that? 
We've got no blanket okay, and it's a so bay. A really bad path. Go. This is a better path. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that's perfect. My pass. I did not do Wait, well. I blame Sophie for leading me astray because she led me in the wrong direction. You guys can't see. Well, I also got a soaker. Yeah, that's why we go around. I see horses running away. Probably, yeah. All right, tell me guys what you think. Like, I'm cold. I feel like it's nice out. It's 10 degrees. It's nice in the sun. 10 degrees Celsius our in the sun. It's nice out. Should we blanket our horses or not? There's lots of shelters, lots of food. There's a squirrel. Why are we going this way? We saw that the horses are not this way. Follow that horse. Well, I so some horses here are blanketed and some are not. I've driven oh by Mother. horses on my way here. Some were, none of them were blanketed. What should you do if your horse lives outside all the time? Would you blanket them because at night it gets cold? What's the answer? I, I don't know. I, I, we didn't blanket because we knew it was going to be nice today. And because they're going to be, Wait, Mom, you need a walk. And because they're going to be inside at night. You guys, I just, oh, scared of my head. Okay. Can I pick it up? If you can. I literally went. Don't swing it towards me. I literally went to take a step and it was right where I was going to walk. And I, oh, it was terrifying. Oh, left. No, it's there. You can't see it? Wait, it's gone. Oh, there it is. It did not seem the least bit scared of me either, which is even more terrifying. I know it's just a snake, but when you're about to step on it, <laughs> it's scary. Sophie just took a weird step. I it. Scared me. Oh, there's a horse coming behind me. But look at there's a Palomino pony straight ahead. Yes, I hear you coming up behind me. I'm not afraid of you. Can you guys see the Palomino pony? We found a snake. I'm not even joking. I almost screamed. Hachi, no. Like with your hand or with your foot? Sophie touched it. I almost stepped on it. I freaked out. I'm taking it. Wrong horse. That's not Gina. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go, Gabby. Mm -hmm. I, have to wait I can't even jump over it, though. That's bad. Oh my gosh. This could be bad. I can't see where you go. My shoes are doing great. Yeah, brand new shoes. Just great. All right, we are in. Do you want me to set up poles? It's all muddy outside, so we're riding in. Do you want me to set up poles? Because Chino needs poles. The thing that's hard about horses at this time of the year is that you always have to check your phone and check the temperature and what it's gonna be and then make a plan. So it's gonna be like this today, get colder tonight and be cold enough for a blanket, but they'll be inside, but then it's gonna get really warm again tomorrow or at least warmer than today even. So then tomorrow when we come for lessons, we will blanket them because it's gonna get cold for a few days. Oh, it's a lot of work. Like, if you don't pay attention, then you end up having to drive to the barn as fast as you can to unblanket them or to blanket them. That's what always happens to us. All right, we are ready to leave, get out of this place, and go home for supper. I'm so hungry, and I wanna work with, oh, and I wanna work with Penny. you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you both speed and my heart is pacing but i'm not sure i want to pace it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true Make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it, we can have it 
ponies are going wild. They're just going crazy in the mud. Crazy. Because they want to be out with Penny. There goes Willow. There goes Gracie. And that's why we have lots of mud back there now. yesterday is to teach her to pay attention to me and when we first started going she what every time I would stop her every I kept trying to stop her make her stand not eat grass and count to five tomorrow I'm gonna to start counting to ten so she could learn patience and so she could learn to rely on me which is hard and then I forgot that she's been off for seven months almost and that's why she's so more stressed out is because she's been off work and so she's been like off so anyways at first when we would be walking i would look at her i would say i would make her stop and she would turn her face and she would look straight into my eye her eyeball staring straight into my soul and she was looking at me like what are we doing like what what do you want i'm confused what do you need me to do and then as soon as i like pet her and said like this is it, Penny, we're just waiting. Like, it's, it's okay. She did so good. She did amazing that whole, most of that whole thing until the end. Listen, I do not want you eating my pocket. So then, there was one part where we got at the bottom of that hill and she heard something and she got scared. Oh my gosh. You guys know that I'm new to horses and new to all the things. So it's still hard for me to know that it's me nothing between me and a scared horse like it's scary and so i still stayed calm though i faked it i can fake it anyways i didn't know if the right thing was to stand there until she calmed down and keep going or to say penny don't be crazy there's nothing to be scared at and make her move i think that's what i should have done but i stood there for a few minutes and she was still really tense and then uh, finally i was like okay this is dumb we're just gonna go so I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I think I want her to like pay attention to me and let me be the boss of if it's danger, dangerous or not, but I don't know. Anyways, it was amazing and glorious and terrifying and that's the route that I'm gonna ride Penny for the next, like over the next couple of months after I do it a couple more times walking because it was scary. <laughs> I love you Penny Pickle. Was it fun? Was it fun? She's like, am I getting treats for this or no? Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're beautiful? 